What is microfracture surgery to treat cartilage damage? I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education, information, and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise, injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. I've talked recently in this Injuries and Surgery series about what articular cartilage is. That's the cartilage lining on the ends of the bone. It's in really all the joints, knee and shoulder, hip, ankle, but that is a shock absorber within the knee. It's also a uh, surface that makes joint motion smooth, basically so the uh, joint, whatever it is, can move smoothly through a free range of motion. But when that cartilage starts to break down, that's where you start to get pain with motion and swelling and you can get catching sensations and things like that. And we've talked about how we can't make cartilage new again. It doesn't heal on its own because it doesn't have blood supply and it doesn't have nerve endings, but we can't go in and just smooth it out. Yeah, that makes it smoother. It's sort of like uh, you know, a pothole in the road. You know, that's a good way to think of cartilage damage actually is a pothole in a road and the pothole is the damaged cartilage. You can go in and smooth out the edges of the pothole, but that doesn't make, does, it doesn't fill in the gap, so to speak. Well, one of the treatments that we've tried, one of the surgeries we've tried to fill in the pothole, so to speak, is a surgery called a microfracture. This is a surgery where we'll go in and use what looks like a fancy ice pick. We do this arthroscopically and poke holes in the bone under the articular cartilage to try to fill in that defect. You might ask, well, why would poking holes in it fill in the, the gap, fill in the defect. Well, the thought is that by poking holes through the bone, that bone bleeds a little bit and it basically leaves blood in the defect. And then over time, especially with uh, repeated motion of the knee, we think that that blood uh, turns into uh, basically scar tissue and that scar tissue remodels. It forms into a certain type of collagen that turns into what we call fibrocartilage. Not quite as durable and maybe not quite as smooth as normal articular cartilage, but it's felt to be better than exposed bone. And some people have done very well uh, after microfracture surgery. There is, I will tell you, uh, some long-term concerns that, again, because it's not as durable, that it could break down and that you, know, you could essentially develop arthritis, more arthritis changes in your knee. We've seen it studied uh, at various sports. I know at the NBA level, uh, about a third of people do well after that surgery and get back to play at the same level they were. A third get back to play, but they're not uh, quite as good. And a third of players never return to play at all after a microfracture surgery. So in a young, really active person, that can be a really tricky uh, surgery to recover from. Plus, we think that we really can only do those microfracture surgeries when the defect is pretty small, usually less than maybe one by one centimeter. Some people will go as high as two by two, which is probably about the size of a nickel or maybe a quarter, but still that can be uh, quite the problem. So yes, it can work for some people and it can work for some articular cartilage uh, problems, but it's probably not a cure-all. In our next video, we're gonna talk about a different treatment option for cartilage damage, especially for larger areas where there's missing cartilage. But again, these can be really tricky problems. Okay, have you had cartilage damage in your knee or shoulder or hip or ankle? And what did you do about it? What were the treatment options suggested to you? I'd love to hear your experience and I know viewers all over the world would as well. So below this video, share your comments and let us know your experience with cartilage damage. How did you get over it? I would love to hear it and I know it would provide value for everybody watching. Now, if you know somebody dealing with cartilage damage, be it in their knee or somewhere else in their body, please share this video with them because I really want to help as many people as possible. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise, injuries and surgeries, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I record a couple of these videos 
every single week and they'll get delivered directly to you. Click the subscribe button in the upper right corner of the page. It's very easy and you get them right away. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I really want to try to help you with information that can help you lead a healthy, active, pain-free life. So I look forward to seeing you right here very soon.